Hey guys, it's 7.18, um, 23. I got this around 6 p.m. It's close to midnight now. Um, it's to the church and to the missionaries. So um, there's a verse to read first. Therefore, since it still remains for some to enter that rest, and since those who formerly had the good news proclaimed to them did not go in because of their disobedience, God again set a certain day, calling it today, this he did when a long time later he spoke through David, as in the passage already quoted, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would have spoken later about another day. There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from his let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following their example of disobedience. Hebrews 4, 6-11. Okay, so the first one is to the church. Hear the voice of the Lord. As the ocean stops on the shore where I say, everyone can clearly see I am sovereign. I control the sun and the moon and the growth of the plants. I care more for my own than the creation they live within. No matter what you soon see, recall that I, the Lord God Almighty, care for my children, and with just a single prayer, I can rescue you from anything that seems insurmountable. I know the path of every bird on earth and every fish in the sea. I can direct any of them at any time to follow my directives. I care more for my precious obedient children and I expect the same level of obedience. Only those who listen for me hear me. Some once um, thought they heard, but they allowed logic and the spirit of deception to stamp it out. If this is you, pray against the spirit of deception and pray that you can clearly hear me. I love you and want you to hear my voice. The days are few until the voice of my prophets stop. I will speak again directly to all of my own. Those that obey and hear my voice will be spared difficulty. You shall be alerted. The human uprising will have started. Julie, the one speaking, will have stopped speaking for three days. Listen for me as soon as the human uprising begins. Pray in earnest to hear me. All who obey my voice and instructions will be considered obedient. Those that reject my words still can repent. My grace is abundant and I want all to come. But only the obedient will have the benefits of not having difficulty. I will still spare and use those that repent and come to me with an earnest and repentant heart. Come to me now. Repent. Stay pure of heart. Cleanse your soul by asking for forgiveness and by focusing on the sacrifice my son made for you. Take the elements in communion, the juice and bread as a symbol and commitment. Do not be light of heart with communion. Be circumspect, measuring yourself with the perfection of my son. Recognize through his blood you have been made clean and pure. Stop doing things that bring an unclean nature to your soul. I understand you are human and certain things are difficult, but I have given you tools of prayer and the ability to overcome when you tap into my power. In the short time left, if you forget or misstep, ask forgiveness, take communion, recommit to try again in purity. I love the repentant. They see their error and they try again, aiming at Christ likeness. That is all I ask. Aim. Some have forgotten the target. Read my words. They are clear. I have very specific standards between holiness and what is unclean. When clean in heart, you are my walking beacons of joy, hope, and love. It gives you the opportunity to bring others to me. Number two, to the missionaries. Missionaries, mine who are pure and being sent out, you are not aware of each other. That is okay. You know your tasks. You are ready. 
Hear my voice and follow my words, and the world will change. It begins. Hear me. Follow my every directive. I will guide you safely and with joy of steps. I will bring you each person that needs to meet you. You will be directed from there what to do. Look at every person in the eyes and see who has the potential to come to me. I will let you know you will feel it. These you will spare in the return. Do not doubt. This is the start. I move my chess pieces through you. And the winning move is to be played. The entire game needs to be played out, but this move wins. I see the end. It begins. So I hope that encourages you, and I'll see you next time.